Hey all, LLMK here. I am vlogging from my lovely bedroom this week. I figured there's good lighting and why not? Change of uh, environment's good, right? You're not going to see much of the room because it's really a mess. Um, so yeah, here's my room. It's pretty in blue. Um, I wanted to start by saying that my fan art contest is closed. The winner was the lovely Lisa, or Wolf in the Walls, or Orzel Bialy, or Jabberwocky. The lady of many names. Her piece was wonderful, and it was also the only piece submitted, so therefore she wins! I will be ordering her book later on this week, or later on tonight. Basically, whenever I remember that I have to order her book. Um, and I'll write whatever she wants and then sign it, and I'll be happy. I'll link to her piece in the description of this video because it's a really cool piece. So today I was going to talk a little bit about inspiration. I know Lisa and I touched on it a little last week and she said that she was inspired by basically everything and I'm pretty much the same in that respect. It's not really a hap uh, helpful answer, but it's a very true and honest answer. I really do get inspiration from lots of things. I know I did a, an actual vlog on this um, quite a while ago, I, you know, 2010, something like that. Um, but I still want to touch on it again because I like inspiration. So, I actually get a lot of my inspiration from nightmares. I have a lot of nightmares, and I've had them since I was very little, and I've always had lots of them, and I hate them. I mean, who actually likes nightmares? Um, so some of my more interesting uh, plot concepts or character concepts have come from my nightmares. It's very interesting to work with those things that terrified me so much when I was asleep and turn them into something new and maybe wonderful. Um, yeah, so nightmares. Nightmares aren't necessarily bad. I get a lot of inspiration from the music. Certain songs um, evoke certain emotions, obviously, and those certain emotions go better with certain scenes. Or, on a little more different of a note, certain songs help, you know, shape plot, or they help build a new character, or they help develop a character in some cases, and it's just very interesting how music can help with that process. That's why I'm always looking for new, new music. You never know what it'll bring. It's, and it's never the same music for me either. I have a strong preference for um, melodic, symphonic, metal, it's hard to classify music, and we're not going to get into that because it's an entirely different tangent. Um, <laughs> but I like music like Camelot, Epica, Nightwish, things like that. But I also really like things like the Super Pony Beat songs. Those are really cool. They're from My Little Pony. Yeah. Um, and then on the complete other side, I like a band called Cradle of Filth, which... I don't know what they actually classify themselves as right now, but I've liked them since I was in high school. My freshman year of high school, since I, so since I was 14 or so. And they help with some of my darker, grim dark scenes, and yeah. I think actually one of them shaped the entire plot of a story I was writing in high school, too. Anyway, tangent, moving on. I get inspiration from Taekwondo. I've mentioned before that I'm a Taekwondo black belt. And I'm actually testing for my second degree on Saturday. I'm super excited and pumped and really nervous. I haven't tested um, in six years or so, so it's nerve-wracking. and Everything will be fine and it's going to be so fun. I really... I'm excited and... yeah. <laughs> so, Taekwondo. Before the tangent, um, inspiration, Taekwondo. Um, I really like writing characters that have a martial arts background because I have a martial arts background. It means less research for me. 
and I'm going to touch on research in a little bit. Um, but yeah, Taekwondo, it just, it's fun for me to write. It makes me sound knowledgeable because I am knowledgeable about it. And I think it's interesting to have martial artsy characters. And it, actually it has screwed up my Taekwondo before when I'm not writing Taekwondo characters or martial arts characters. Because I get so far in the character's head and then it just starts warping my sparring skills. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit weird. Inspiration. Uh, I derive inspiration from books and movies and TV shows I really like. Um, whenever I start feeling the urge to write fan fiction, I start twisting the concepts in those shows, the ones I liked, into something that is my own, or I start twisting the characters into something that doesn't even resemble what they were before, and then it's something shiny and new and pretty and I want to work with it and play with it. Not that I've done this before. Never. Convergence point, seriously, totally. Um, so, take inspiration from, you know, everything. On the note of research, I wanted to mention that research is not is not your enemy. Research is your friend. There are so many benefits to doing your research. Um, especially if you write in science fiction, and especially if you're writing in historical fiction, and fiction in general. Really good to do your research. Um, when I was writing Opus Aria, I actually did quite a bit of research on black hole theory. Um, and my boyfriend actually said I got it mainly right in the novel, which really impressed me because I was looking at the equation for it just for um, my amusement, and I nearly started crying because I didn't understand any of it because it was just that far over my head. But uh, researching adds an element of realism to your story, and not everyone is able to throw themselves into a story as readily as, say, me or my friends. So, adding that element of realism helps them maintain uh, their suspension of disbelief, and it's all about maintaining that. So, I think that's all for this week. I think there's actually a storm rolling in. That's why I keep looking out the window. Um, and I don't want the vlog to be interrupted by thunder. Also, I kind of want to watch the storm. So, uh, if there's anything you want to hear me ramble on about, give me some suggestions. I don't mind. Otherwise, I'm just going to ramble on about random things and it's going to, you know, <laughs> be really, really ADD. So, I hope everyone has a good week. I'll let you know the results of my test, my black belt test, and, which I am nervous and excited for. And I'll see you next week. LLMK out.